The sound of bagpipes broke the silence in Redbird Arena. People offered hugs and hope to each other, and ribbons were pinned close to everyone's hearts to show support for NIU after the February 14th shooting on Northern's campus. ISU President Al Bowman offered support to everyone affected by the tragic event. This evening, we grieve for the dead and the injured. We embrace and comfort our NIU friends. We provide whatever assistance is possible. And we offer hope that everything will be okay when classes resume next week. ISU student Rachel Falk was directly affected. Her best friend was one of the victims. Samantha was fortunate enough to, of the placement of her wounds, but in the pain, like most others on that campus, will remain far after the physical wounds are healed. I spent my weekend sitting at her bedside in the hospital. There were few laughs, far less tears, but what did come in ample supply was support and love. People wrote messages on a commemorative banner for NIU, and a donation box filled up for the February 14th Student Scholarship Fund created by NIU. Bloomington Normal is the home for two Northern Illinois students who still have February 14th fresh in their minds. It was a very scary scene, seeing um, all the students running and um, seeing all the sirens. and it was, It's something you never, ever want to experience in your whole life. It just, it hits close to home is the thing. Like, the hardest thing for a while was not being able to get a hold of people because all the phone lines were jammed and you didn't know who was safe and who wasn't. ISU student body president Dave Horstein reminds everyone help and support is nearby. If you felt for the students running to safety, look around and realize that you are not alone. You are surrounded by our own university community, our home. Today we are all Huskies. That was the theme of today's vigil where NIU and ISU family and friends came together to offer hope and support to NIU's campus. Reporting for TV10 News, I'm Christy Stelzer.